six shootings in five days, all in one central Illinois community. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. Jennifer's off tonight. Police say the first shooting happened Thursday afternoon in Rantoul. WCI 3's Will Simmons live with us. Will, do these incidents happen in different places throughout the city? Yeah, Brandon, out of the six shootings from Thursday afternoon to Sunday morning, police say four of them happened near Falcon and Juniper Drive. They say Thursday afternoon, a group of high school aged kids were seen with two guns. Police say they started shooting after getting into a fight. Nobody was injured. Then at about 930 that night, 70 shots were fired into apartments. One person was hurt, but is expected to be okay. Over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday, police were called about gunshots again. Now they're asking people in the area to be vigilant. I think it, it, it just comes anymore that you need to be alert at all times, right? You need to, to make sure you know your surroundings, uh, that you're, when you're at, you know, getting out of your vehicle and walking up to your, to your door at night, that you're looking around first, things like that. Police say another person was injured in a shooting with non-life-threatening injuries early Sunday morning on Marsha Drive and Gates Drive. All of these shootings remain under investigation. Now, police say the sixth incident was on Lowry Drive near Harper Drive, and had it not been for their gunshot detection system, they wouldn't have known of the incident. Police say nobody was hurt, and the technology helped with the only gun arrest of the weekend. Right now, police are talking about the rash of shootings with community members at the Rantoul Community Church on Century Boulevard. The event runs until 7. Back to you. All right, Will, thank you.